Welcome everyone to today's episode of the Steelers Crossover Fantasy Draft. And in today's episode, it's a classic. Browns, Steelers, H North football, prime time on Monday Night Football. It's going to be a big game. Hopefully we can get a good result. Here are the highlights. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. And he is into the end zone. Visiting Steelers who came away victorious, so they'll look to claim the season series with a win here in Pittsburgh. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 47. Three first downs. Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they get to that end zone real fast. And he's in. Touchdown. Just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. And a loose football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And they'll start with... Because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. He rifles one that's intercepted. 16 here for first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he takes this one back into the end zone. Guys keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Into the red zone now. Manning. He finds his man complete. It's Stevens. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off at the 36, and he takes this one back in. Before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is... And he's going to take it in for a Steeler. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll take it into the end zone. So now the Steelers down by two touchdowns and time a huge factor And this is intercepted and that should do it. He's picked off at his own 47 And a great return here gets us with all the way So we lost <laughs> um, Yeah, 35 to 21 losses not how things are gonna go, but we It's really been our only defensive issue all year long. We could not stop the run I mean, McAllister went off on us. And offensively, we just weren't that great either. Vinny Testaverde, 13 for 19 for 2 of 15 yards, a touchdown, and five interceptions. So we had one incompletion, and the rest of the non-completions were interceptions. So not at all what I wanted two weeks before we the playoffs. Tomlinson didn't do anything great, but Priest Holmes and Allstott both had touchdowns. Lewis has really emerged as a kind of wild card receiver. Touchdown on two catches for 75 yards. Talmanson had five for 51. Defensively, Coakley and Lewis were our main two tacklers. But yeah, next episode, we have to win, I think, to clinch the division against the, we face off against the Ravens. And if we lose and the Bengals win, I think we're, st we're still in the playoffs, but obviously won't get home field advantage ever. So next episode, game actually really matters. Hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And it is Sir JTB signing off.